Hi, this is Greg McKee, Product Marketing Manager and Chief Technologist for LabSphere. This video is one in a series of videos on LabSphere Spectra FT fine tunable sources. Spectra FT is part of LabSphere Spectral image and sensor calibration and test sources. Today we want to show you our FT2300 fine tunable wide angle field of view flat fielding source and how to load and optimize the source to reproduce a given spectral target. Just to uh, re-familiarize yourself with our system, uh, the gold line is the target spectrum. The white line is how well it's matching. That's the optimization file, which we're going to show you how to produce. And the pink line is a measurement, which is done by a spectroradiometer inside the system. So this is the spectroradiance output of the system. And that is uh, showing you uh, the output here on the left. What I wanted to show you today is um, our solver. And uh, so I'm going to load a new target. So this is the maximum output of our system. And so I'm going to open a target. Let's see if we can find one here. New target. Uh, I'm going to choose one that covers the full uh, spectrum of, the, of our system. So you have a good idea of what it looks like. So we'll choose this one. 6500K black body visible near IR. So this is a simple file, uh, literally just two columns, one column of wavelength and one column of relative spectral radiance. So we tell the system this column is wavelength and I say, tell the system this column is data. Uh, it's gonna know to, use, know to use those two columns. There's that 65K black body curve and so I want to get it under the maximum output of our system, so I'm just going to lower it down. Now the full output will be under the full output of the system. Yeah, I can put this anywhere underneath it, so, but I'm just putting it under there and maximizing it that way. I can choose my um, uh, SI units that I want to use or my spectral radiance values. Um, I'm just stick with this. Uh, I can clear this and on more. Let me save this and give it a name. We'll call it uh, 6500 K black body. Sounds good. Um, okay. Now I'll cover editing targets uh, in the next video. Here I'm just going to go to settings, and you'll see that it's highlighted the the one that I just chose. And here's one I did. We're going to do this one right here, uh, and then I'm going to apply it. And I'm going to ask for it to solve. Now you can you can choose the resolution on how much you want this to solve. So I have it for uh, uh, you know a typical demo mode here, and so it takes about you know about two minutes to go through uh, the process of optimization. So we'll watch it in the uh, beginning, and then um, you know we'll cut back. So here we are. We're at. Uh, 3% of the total output, and it's optimizing at 3% of the total output. Uh, you know, now we're at 5, uh, I'm sorry, 0.5% of the total output, and this is going to continue up. And I can, as a user, you can select um, the resolution of, of how much you want to uh, optimize, um, and now we're getting up to 1%. Over on the left here, is the target, which is that 65K, that gold line. The white is the spectral matching, and, and then these are the errors associated with it. So it gives you an idea how well it's spectral matching uh, over the dynamic range of the system. And uh, we'll just let this go, and we'll be done in about two minutes. Okay, we are just about done here. Uh, I really like how this looks. Um, you can see that we're at 100% uh, of full scale. And, um, and so where's that file I just created? These are all temp files that, that uh, have been created in the past, and you can look at these. Um, there's the one that I just created. I'm going to drive, drive it over here from temporary to this side, current use. If I didn't like it, I can take a file and I can drop it down here and trash it. So if I don't like something, I can just drop it down there. And now I will uh, commit to new files. 
Let me back out. And it should be here. There it is. It's 500 by body curve. And there we go. So I just created that file. There's the goal in my matching, and I have it over the dynamic range of the system. And you can see the spectrometer catches up here. There we go. How well it matches. I hope this was helpful. For more videos on Spectra FT and other LabSphere products, visit us at www dot labsphere dot com